Hi, I'm Laura the Beauty Buster, and I have been getting lots of questions from everyone about what do I do with my skin in the winter. So I'm here to tell you about the six most important things you can do to take care of your skin in the winter. The first one is no Vaseline. I know people love Vaseline, but it is so gross and it was definitely gonna clog your pores and all it does is form a barrier on the skin. So if you were going skiing or if you live in the Windy City, I can see how a little Vaseline can really help protect the skin from the outside uh, wind but it does absolutely nothing to put moisture into the skin because the molecule is too big, it can't get in the skin. And it does absolutely nothing to heal the skin. So that's why you keep putting it on your lips, but nothing's happening because it's only creating a barrier, no moisture. So I created a perfect product called Crack Spackle, which is perfect for anywhere on your skin that needs extra moisture and protection and healing. Because this does have lavender and white beeswax and vitamin A, it is going to be very healing. You can put it wherever you need it. If you need a little bit more protection, you just put a little few more swipes and you're good to go. So you're healing and protecting at the same time. You can't beat that. The second thing is hot showers. Hot showers are the worst thing you can do for your skin in the winter, although I know it feels so good and you just wanna like get out of bed and run into the hot shower. Horrible. Every minute you're in the shower, you're completely dehydrating your skin. And you know when you come out, you're really red and you're probably even sweating a lot and your inner body temperature is quite elevated. Those are all things that are going to dehydrate your skin. So I definitely suggest either making your shower quicker if you like it hot or cutting the heat a little bit so you can stay in there a little bit longer. The third thing is everyone's favorite coffee, especially now we have that pumpkin spice coffee, which is my favorite. But for every cup of coffee you drink, you have to drink two glasses glasses of water. It's the only way you're going to be able to combat the effects of coffee. It is a diuretic, so you're losing more liquid and it is very dehydrating. So definitely cut out the coffee. If you want something hot, maybe switch to tea, especially a green tea, like a matcha green tea, because that is going to give you at least the feeling of something nice and warm and all the antioxidants. If you definitely have to have that milk kind of coffee taste in the morning, I suggest English breakfast tea, a black tea, or Earl Grey. You'll get so much more flavor, it'll never be bitter, and you're still quenching your thirst for that coffee kind of feel with the milk and the warmth. The fourth thing is that I think is most important is a serum. A really good serum is gonna make a huge difference. So I created Secret Weapon Serum, which is metal foam based and it has rose oil, primrose oil, and it is amazing, it's sandalwood. Very, very healing. So a lot of people just wanna put on heavy, thick creams. They only create barriers on the skin. They don't put any more moisture into the skin because the molecule's too big, they can't get in the skin. So a serum, you can put underneath that heavy cream, but definitely at least always use a serum twice a day whenever you want. Another thing is SPF. I will always be talking about the importance of SPF. And a lot of people think, oh, I don't need it in the winter time because it's, I'm not sitting on the beach. But you are absolutely getting all of the UVA rays and the UVB rays, which cause freckling and discoloration, lines, wrinkles, and everything to do with aging and, of course, skin cancer. So if you're out skiing especially, you're going to want to use the crack spackle and then put the SPF on top of it. It always goes last because the SPF is a larger molecule. My favorite is Control Corrective. And and their Aroma Matte Day Cream SPF 30. I love this because I use it just as my moisturizer. It doesn't feel oily, but I still get enough hydration and of course my protection. Then if you really, really want you know, the sun and you like it, please don't do tanning beds. They are horrible. Definitely do sunless tanning. You can use um, any self tanner or get the airbrush spray tan. One of my favorites is Scott Barnes Body Bling. Oh my God, this is so amazing. I mix the light and the dark together. It's Perfect, and this is what one of the things they use on Dancing with the Stars, and Scott Barnes created this to give J.Lo her glow. Very, very special product, and if you don't have it, it's a must-have. And then the last thing is dry heat in your apartment or your house. If you have forced heat, definitely start putting bowls of water around so you can get some kind of moisture going in the air. A radiator is always the best kind of heat that still creates steam and moisture. If you live in a really dry environment, you already know you have to have big bowls of water in your house and just to keep some kind of moisture in the air. And definitely, definitely use floral waters a lot and hydrosols to keep the um, moisture going in the air on your skin and you're gonna look fabulous all winter. So that's it for how to make your skin look great in the winter. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my website, thebeautybuster.com where you can buy my amazing all natural products. 10% of sales always go to help soldiers serving overseas and their family back home. It's really, really important to me and we should really support them. And please check out my book and any other products. Email me with your questions and I can't wait to make my next video.